in an era that I call post New Age. Okay. And people are feeling it. And what do you exactly define as that post New the, Age? The post, what makes it different? Yeah, the post New Age is that I think we've kind of become tapped, uh, we tapped into it. The post New Age is you feel that there is something greater out there besides what I've been told about the basic laws of New Age, right? Mm. Uh, the New Age movement was very popular for a long time, about three decades, very popular. Music, yeah. very popular musically. I uh, started with people like Brian Eno. But even it goes back to, because um, I, you know, I do uh, music as well, it even goes back to Eric Satie about 100 years mm -hmm. ago. That was kind of really technically the birth of soothing music. And also uh, Miles Davis did a lot of very soothing music. Uh, which is kind of so, so those three Eric Satie, Miles Davis and uh, Brian Eno are kind of the fathers of the New Age movement which had a great run uh, especially in the 80s and 90s um, but that obviously just because they all not sound exactly yeah. the same so that so everything in a sense has a, there's a cyclical to, you know there's a cycle to these things and now we're at a cycle where okay so we've so, so we've done all that we've kind of did the crystals and we did the um, in a sense, we were the kind of Lucy garbs and, and mm -hmm. all that stuff. What is next? Because yeah. we have to constantly push ourselves forward. So the next is you, you, you um, tap into yourself and, um, and realize what mystics have, have been telling us for thousands of years. That is the true spirituality is listening to what, to what mystics have been telling us, okay. which is what my... Um, the 12 laws of uh, self-realization uh, is really about. I was really surprised when this kind of took off, this, this article, because I've done you know, many articles. Yeah. But this is the one that really just resonated. And, um, and I, I really, because I thought, who's going to care about self-realization? You know, you know yeah. because people want just the basic... 101. Yeah. Well, I think that now more than ever, you know, we, we lived within a society that became so much about uh, perception and people being a false sense of their self for so many years. And in the social media age over the last 10 years, it became even more apparent. It was the fake facade to the world. And, yeah. and people are sick of it. And people are like, well, I want to be myself now, so how do I realize how to be myself? Because right. I've put on a show for the world to see. And you know, and you do you know, have that kind of whole sense of there has to be more than Facebook likes and Instagram likes, you know? Or you know, putting whatever up. And so I think that that's why the Huffington Post, that article became so popular. Because I see it every day here. People, there, there's got to be something, but they don't even know how to find themselves. Oh. But let's take it a step further because I, you know, like I think that this is like a, a beautiful conversation that I'm curious about. You know, okay, so we take it, it. This might get a little deep for everybody, and if it does, we'll go a little back a little bit. But so, you know, you're saying it's the next step in spiritual evolution. It's like that beyond that yoga and meditation that kind of takes you into a more centered pointedness. And then you say, okay, well, now we're here for spiritual development or purpose or whatnot. Now, can I have your thought process on for what purpose is that spiritual development? Well, um, <laughs> so as, as I mentioned, we need to go back to, um, to what spirituality really is. Mm -hmm. um, because it's uh, based on steps of development, yes. right? If you and I were that talking, let's say at uh, in a at level two or three, we were just talking about how great yo how great yoga is. Maybe you want to become eat lighter food or whatever, and that's pretty much going to be the conversation. And in, at another five or ten levels, would be a little bit to become having more of a sense of yourself, having self awareness, being self aware is the key for, for, for growth. Now, when you get to the higher levels, mm -hmm. you have to tap into what mystics have been telling us about spirituality. And the message of mystics, these are not gurus, mystics, because gurus usually have an agenda of yeah. growth and you know getting followers and money and all that. One famously had 100 Rolls Royces and so forth. <laughs> but he was flaunting it. I actually liked him. There was a guru named 
uh, Rajini, she also went, went by Osho, who actually flaunt his, his well. He was the only honest guru out there. He, yeah. You know, it was like he, he didn't, yeah, he wanted money and he wanted to just give it to me and I show it off. There's it was, a documentary on Netflix about <laughs> Osho, his yeah, real identity. He was the <laughs> only one that was really honest. But I'm talking about the mystics. So the message of mystics has been that it's very similar to, to the Matrix trilogy, the movie, mm -hmm. is that this planet is an illusion or, or a simulation or Maya. Yes. And that we are constantly being, uh, in a sense, uh, programmed to maintain our presence on this planet. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the core message, the core, uh, in a sense, uh, task or duty of a true spiritual person is to liberate himself or herself mm -hmm. from life and death on this planet. And the cycle of li uh, li life and death on this planet can be infinite because the planet is designed to maintain that. Literally, we're talking hun hundreds of thousands of years. So, so in, in just to simplify for those that are watching, like unplugging yourself from the matrix. You unplug, but, okay. but, but, but uh, yes. Uh, you're exactly right. So the Matrix, was, the reason it hit so hard, you know, Matrix resonated with people on such a deep level, especially the first one, right? Mm -hmm. uh, because people inherently or subconsciously are aware that there is something that just isn't right. Yeah. You know? So, and, but the message of Matrix is not to uh, liberate ourselves from this planet is to get rid of the elements that are controlling yeah. this planet and turn this into more of a utopian, which is a perfectly valid argument. 